What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining scope and returning inside of Roblox Studio scripting. So let's get right into it here shall we. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is go right over to server script service on the right inside of explorer. You just want to click on this little arrow, open it up and open up the script that we already have inside of here. Now inside of the script I'm going to start off with just a simple variable. I'm going to name it my variable and it's going to be equal to 10 just like this. So we went over in our variable tutorial that it works whenever we print out my variable right here. If I were to open up the view tab and then open up the output, you can see that if we went back to the home tab and then clicked on run, 10 would be in the output because my variable is equal to 10 and we printed that out. But it's not always going to work that way and let me explain why. Let me get rid of this code right here and we're going to start off with a simple function. I'm just going to name it by function just like this. I'm going to put parentheses right here and press enter and now let's try creating that variable again. I'm going to say local my variable going to be equal to 10 as usual but outside of this function let's try and print my variable. You can see that there is a red line or an orange line or whatever you want to call it underneath this print statement right here and that's because this local variable is not a global variable. I'm going to explain to you what that means in a second here but if we ran this right here you can see it's going to print out nil because it doesn't find anything named my variable. So we can fix this by removing the local keyword from the my variable variable. And you might see an orange line appear underneath this, but that's all right, doesn't really matter. And we can click on run now. You can see it's still going to print nil. That's because this function has not ran, so it has not had the time to assign the my variable name equal to 10. So if you want to, you can simply call my function right here and we run this one more time you can see now it's going to be equal to 10. The best way that I can explain this at least in my own opinion I'm going to rename this function to room2 and I'm going to call room2. Let's see here so I'm going to start up here with a variable I'm going to say local my variable is going to be equal to hello world and then this my variable I'm just going to get rid of for now. So how I like to think of scope is imagine it like a security camera. We have the different rooms here. We're going to say this big open space that will hold all of our code is going to be room one. It's kind of like a massive room and we can pretend that this is a super valuable room or something. That's why we have a security camera inside of it. And this security camera goes over to another room that we'll call room two right here. And so room two can easily look into room one, which is this huge room right here. But room one can't look into room two because there isn't a security camera or monitors or anything inside of room one. So what that means is that you can see that we can use the my variable variable inside of this function. We can add things to it if we wanted to. And it's not an actual number, so I'm just going to change this to like 10 real quick, and this will plus equal 5. So basically, we can use the my variable variable inside of this function, but if we were to create a new variable inside of here, we're going to name it my number. That's going to be equal to 15. We can't use my number outside of here as you can see unless we make my number a global variable I'm sure if any of that made too much sense so basically what happens is that we can use any variable outside of this function but any variable that we put inside of our function can't be used outside of that variable scope which in this case is the function unless we declare it as a global variable and we do that simply by removing the local keyword before it. We're going to be talking about returning. So returning is related to functions in LUAU, which means we're going to need a function. So I'm going to create a function right here. I'm going to call it add numbers and I'm going to put parentheses here. And we talked about parameters briefly inside of the function tutorial, I believe, but we're going to choose the first variable to be number one and the second one is going to be number two. And I'll get into what we're going to be using these for later. I'm not sure if I went over this in the function tutorial, but functions are blocks of code that perform specific tasks and can return values. When a function returns a value, it means it provides a result that can be used elsewhere in your script. So let's create a little bit of a variable right here. I'm going to create a local variable 
And this is going to be local result equals to number one plus number two. We're using our arithmetic operators right here. And underneath this right here, I'm going to use the keyword return. So what return does, so return is used inside of functions. It will return a value and stop the function whenever it's called. If we don't put a value after return, it's just gonna return nil and it will stop the function. However, we can put values after this return right here. So I'm going to say, return result and what this is going to do is that we're going to take the number one parameter and the number two parameter we're going to take this variable which will add them together and then we're going to return the result of these two numbers being added together and then we return that result which means that if we create another variable which will be local sum or total whatever you want to call it i'm just going to say sum and this will be equal to add numbers and we can put whatever number we want in here is the first parameter i'm going to do 10 and then for the second number i'm going to do five so what this is doing is that we're basically calling this function inside of a variable or we're assigning this function to the variable right here and what that means is that when we call this function right here or when it's assigned to this variable that means that it'll take these numbers 10 and 5, it'll add them together in our result variable, and it's going to return the result, which means that the result of whatever these two numbers are together, which is 15, is going to equal to sum, which means that if we print out sum like this, we should get 15. So let's print it out. And you can see we get 15 right here inside of our script. And so that is how return works. So returning values from functions allows you to perform calculations or operations in one part of your script and use the results in other parts like this. So in summary of the whole video, understanding scope helps you manage where your variables are accessible and returning values from functions allows you to see the results of specific operations in different parts of your roblox script anyways guys i think that's gonna end this video today if you enjoyed this video just as much as i did make sure you like subscribe and comment down below i'll see you in the next video bye